The next question asks, what is the distance traveled before coming to rest? Okay, again, let's do our stock taking. We've already calculated in the previous question our acceleration. And it was a negative acceleration, negative 0 0.5. But we were given that the initial velocity was equal to 16 meters per second. The future velocity, because it came to rest, was 0 meters per second. And the change in time was equal to 32 seconds. Now, we have four values, which means there are actually going to be quite a few uh, formulas that will give us the correct answer. I am going to rather look for the formula that contains the values that was given rather than that one which I calculated, simply because I might have made a mistake in my calculation of A. However, if you choose anyone with A in and you do your question correctly and you did your previous question correctly, your answer should be 100% perfectly correct. Okay, so I'm going to look for VI, VF, delta T and delta X that I need to calculate. This one contain, doesn't contain delta x. This one assumes constant or average velocity, which I can use um, with a little bit of extra work. Here I have vf, vi, a and x. I would be able to use it. I don't want to use a. Here I have x, vi, a. Again, I'm reluctant to use a. But this one is going to work for me. I have the delta x is equal to vf plus vi divided by 2. This is actually average velocity times time, and that's what this formula would also um, be correct for. Okay, so using that formula, I am going to see that x is equal to future velocity plus initial velocity divided by 2 times time. In my substitution step, I know my future velocity is 0, my initial velocity was 16 divided by 2 times time is 32. So what do I have? Here I have 16 and the numerator divided by 2 gives me 8 times 32. And that would give me 256, if I'm not mistaken, meters.